Look at this. I'm freaking huge. Freaking huge. Peekaboo. Yum 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 yum. Yum. Extra yum yums. <laughs> I eat muscle. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, everyone. I am your master level expert fitness trainer, Alex Diaz, aka Mr. Freaking Huge. And I act very silly, if you noticed. <laughs> Anyways, um, this video is gonna be uh, helping a person that I made a video for before, in about like three weeks ago, about. And because he had people telling him one thing and stuff like that back and forth and giving him wrong information so I had made a whole video to clarify everything to help him out and now he asked another question and I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy because I, I was curious to know how was how, how were the um, that was the advice I gave you working or not even though I know it is but I'm just Brandon uh, o -K aka Opiggy Again, it is isn't really related to this video because he, he commented on a video that has nothing to do with this. Uh, but I'm losing inches and no weight. Could you explain to me what exactly happened? I've lost eight inches in two weeks. You know, looking back, I never, I didn't even see that part. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, man! You know, what, eight inches. Folks, that's eight inches <laughs> in two weeks. That is amazing. That is amazing. Awesome. Uh, and gain two pounds. I'm glad I'm losing inches. Not really worried about weight. Just thinking I'm skinnier. Just curious, what exactly would it be? Uh, I'll be weight training to start building more muscle. Thanks. Uh, thanks and great videos as always and then I actually replied um, back to his question I didn't print it out because I just did it recently um, I hope it's this one <laughs> is it yeah um, I asked him um, yeah, I told him I'll make a video to help him out I, I said I'm guessing you're taking my advice and have seen a lot of fat loss since you're losing inches all over the place am I right and he said yes thanks again for your very response it really helped so I'm glad I can help you out and I, I'm, I'm glad that people are actually taking my advice because I'm not understanding my channel okay for anyone who's new to my channel understand this there's a difference between taking advice from someone who just does things for themselves personally and has a diary log of it, all right? Which is excellent because it's, you know people could see what you did and try to do what you're doing. Understand that my whole channel and my job is I train everybody. I'm I'm a I'm a master level trainer. Okay, I don't do logs and say, well, it worked for me, so it's gonna work for you. Um, no, people pay thousands of dollars for me to train them, and I'm not gonna give them a uh, if I, if I train if I train this way no no there are specific things every, everyone has specific things people have to do depending on a lot of things so my advice is not just advice from the air or it just worked for me this is what I do for a living understand this okay this is what I'm certified for so in me giving this advice to him uh, you, you lost eight inches in two weeks so that's amazing. Now your concern is about your weight, okay? So you said you gained two pounds. A lot of things play a part. Understand that when you're, you lost eight inches, so that's not fat. Uh, I mean, that's sorry, that's not. You, if you lost eight inches, you didn't gain fat. You didn't gain because if you gain fat, you will have increase of inches in your waist and hips and thighs and everywhere else. So understand that what you lost is fat. Now why is your weight? are the same or why is it uh, you gain two pounds well, understand that this while you're training you're building muscle in two weeks I'm pretty sure you didn't you didn't gain two pounds of muscle okay maybe a pound if you're you know maybe 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 a pound who knows 
Uh, I'm pretty sure what you have is, for one thing, when did you weigh yourself? When did you weigh yourself? Um, were you wearing the same clothes? Okay. Did you weigh yourself at the same time? Two week difference, you shouldn't even be weighing yourself anyway. I weigh my clients monthly. I do my monthly assessments with my clients every month. So we do a weighing, we do a body fat, we do measurements every month, not weekly, not bi-weekly. Um, and if you understand that when you wake up, that is your true weight. If you didn't eat nothing, you you, you slept eight hours and you wake up, you went to the bathroom, you, you did your business, you didn't take a shower, you didn't do any of that, and you weigh yourself, that is your true weight. If you weigh yourself at, let's say you did the weigh-in, right, in the morning, and the next time you did your weigh-in, it was at night, and you're like, well, I gained four pounds, five pounds, like, well, you didn't gain, you, there's no way you ate that many calories to get that weight, so it's not, you didn't get fat. When you take showers, remember, your, your, your skin is a sponge, okay, you retain tons of water, so if you weigh yourself before you take a shower and you weigh yourself after you take a shower, there'll be a difference in weight. If you go to the bathroom or you don't go to the bathroom, there'll be a difference in weight. If you worked out before or after you worked out, there'll be a difference in weight. Weight fluctuates. You could gain, believe this, you could gain 8 to 10 pounds every day. You could lose 8 to 10 pounds every day. Does that mean that's 8 pounds of fat? No. Does that mean that that's muscle? No. So it's, for one thing, most of it is water weight. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> what I would say to help you with that is to drink more water, more fluids. No more fluid, no water. Sorry, no more fluids. I would say start to increase your water intake. For one thing, that will help tell your body that you don't need to retain much water because you're receiving it frequently. Okay. Um, but I'm sure you're... Remember, this is 8 inches. That's 4 inches a week. Okay, that's a big difference. And I remember you were, you know, you're pretty, you're pretty heavy guy. From what I remember, don't get mad at me. <laughs> so you should, you should seeing, you should be seeing weight loss, but you shouldn't be worrying about that in two weeks. You, if you see your clothes, like you said, you lost eight inches. Your clothes should be fitting looser. You feel, you said yourself, I'm skinnier now. Then that's great. Okay, when you're training, you're building muscle. You gain, you might gain a pound, a pound of muscle during your month training okay and the rest is depending on when you weigh yourself so I'm pretty sure if you check your body fat okay you will see your body fat probably drop four percent maybe I'm not really sure you have to t I, I'm just giving you a number but um, if you check your body fat that's the most important thing you should check is your body fat okay I actually did a um, I did it. Uh, I made a video about it. I'm, I gotta actually do it. I recorded myself every hour or two to to show people how how much the weight fluctuates. Like I worked out, I weighed myself. I uh, before worked out, after I worked out, after I went to the bathroom, and I gained four pounds. I lost four pounds. I didn't eat nothing. <laughs> I just drank one, you know, uh, one uh, bottle of water, and that's it. Um, but I'm telling you weight is not really important yes you are overweight and yes you you need to reduce your weight that is happening you already dropped eight inches that's pure f fat and water you you lost so do your weigh in monthly for one thing okay and make sure you're wearing the same clothes i mean it's not same clothes like if if you did it on a scale on the out i don't know if you do it at home, get naked and then take your weight in the same way. Don't. I'm gonna do my weight when I have my boots on or when I have my clothes on. That adds weight to you. Um, and if you're gonna do your weight, just do the weight in the morning when you wake up. That's it. So when you, as soon as you wake up and you went to the bathroom, you urinated, you went number two and everything, one, two, three, all of them. Then you weigh yourself and then write that down. That's your bench. That's your. That's when you start. All right. Next month, after you start your pants are dropping and you know, you gotta buy new clothes and that's the problem that's the bad thing like um, for people that I, I, I tell people this is the downside of of um, 
losing weight and losing fat and all that is that you have to buy more clothes so you will eventually have to buy more more clothes because eight inches is a big deal and you won't you'll look ridiculous with like you know super large clothes that's the downside of losing fat but um you should be measuring your whole body like have you have you been yeah, like how you've been doing so your body fat too you have to check your body fat so as soon as you weigh in um do uh do your caliper test not the electric ones because they don't really they're not really that accurate you could do, if you can only place i could do um a water uh water where you're gonna need for water and you check your body fat that way excellent or the actual actual one when they have this um big egg i forgot what it's called don't i got the name of it it's like a it's like an air pressure machine where they see how much body fat you have which is really expensive but if you know a facility that has that do that that's actually the best that's the most accurate thing you could do you check your body fat the electric the electric ones are like a base mark kind of thing they're not really that accurate because because if you have more water or less water in your body then it will it will be different so like uh, because the whole thing about the electric the way the electric body fat testers work is it sends a mild current through your body okay and then it, it measures the time it takes for the, the the resistance to travel back to the other end of the prongs or the foot or whatever kind of body fat tester it is and depending on how long it takes for the current to go through it will determine the body fat but if you have more water or less water that then that fluctuates so if you were fasting or you had and you had no water or you had a lot of water there'll be a difference in body fat test if um if i had clients on just for just to have fun with them so i could show them how ridiculous a body fat test is for electric ones is i had them do a, a pre-workout body fast and a post-workout body fat test and it was it, it went up and it went down two percent by two percent so it's not really that accurate i recommend the caliper folds um are better but the best would be the actual air pressure or the water ones but you can use electric one as a base mark don't be concerned about your weight you will drop weight yes your weight will drop so don't worry about that every month you're going to see weight dropping on you're going to see your pounds start going down as well on top of your inches but just know that the weight when you weigh yourself what you did that while you weigh yourself plays a part to your weight okay so congrats on the freaking eight inches that you lost that is amazing man. that's only in two weeks so. congrats and I bow to you <laughs> and I keep up what you're doing so you should be pretty happy man I'm really happy that you're doing that you're doing that you're doing awesome like this so, I mean, thank you for thanks for getting back to me I was actually worried you know that you weren't for my, my freaking advice man I'm gonna kick you in the face <laughs> all right so um weigh yourself when you wake up without taking a shower and if you don't, if you don't believe my what I'm talking, you think I'm talking to my ass. Don't no worry. If you want to take a test, weigh yourself in the morning. Weigh yourself after you take a shower, before you take a shower, before you work out, after you work out, after you ate, after you drank, after you went to the bathroom, and write down and see see how different how how much the weight fluctuates, especially after you work out because you weigh you weigh you since you sweat so much, and you were pretty much. Um, the whole purpose of sweating, by the way, I should make another video about this, is your body's under a lot of pressure, so you s tend to sweat, so your body can cool itself, because your body's doing, working out. So you re you re you re are relinquishing lots of water weight when you're training. So after you train, you'll be lighter, you know. So does that mean that you lost? Um, if you lost, let's say you lost two pounds after you train, does that mean that you burn seven thousand calories? Because that's what two pounds is. Hell no, you didn't burn no seven thousand calories. That's crazy. You burn maybe 300 calories, but what that is is water. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you have water retention, maybe a little bit of water retention, but I'm pretty sure it's when you weigh yourself and all that. So be freaking happy, and I'm glad you're losing inches all over the place. Keep up what you're doing, and I'm sure you will lose even more inches, and you're gonna have to change your clothes. Sorry about that, but you have to change your clothes. Take some money out buy some clothes and hey give the old clothes to um i have my clients after they lose lots of weight they actually donated to like the salvation army and stuff like that so i actually do that i'm be honest i tell my clients that's how serious i am about 
you know, that's how sweet I am when it comes to results. We have, we give our clothes to like Salvation Army and other like, you know, pe people like homeless and needy people that need clothes because they don't need those extra large or 2XL clothes anymore because we already lost all that weight. And that's excellent to be able to hold your shirt or look at your pants and be able to like pull it off and see all that weight you dropped, all that fat you lost. So um, start to, also one thing, this is long, I'm not making this video longer than what it should be. Once you start losing weight, okay, and you start, because um, you are losing fat right now and you are losing weight, it's just when you weigh yourself, start to buy new fitting clothes, fitting, fit, fitting clothes, is that right? Right now, okay? As soon as you start losing some weight and you say, well, this pants I lost like an inch or two off my pants, buy that uh, a pant size smaller immediately, okay? Throw that other pair of pants away. Or give it, like I said, give it to the, the, the needy or foundations that support people that need clothes, okay? That way, this will make sure that you never, ever go back to those big sizes ever again. Okay. Unfortunately, you will have to keep on buying more clothes because you get slimmer, slimmer, slimmer. But this is good because now you can't. If you have those big clothes in your closet, it's like, well, you know what? If I get fat, I still have those clothes. I, I could fit into it, and that's an excuse for you not to lose weight and fat. And then you're gonna get back into your bigger clothes. So, as soon as you start dropping, get fitted. Not fitted. Don't become. Don't get vacuum shirts or pants. But I mean, like, get clothes that will fit you now that you lost inches and and you know weight and fat. Um, and start giving away the clothes that you have so you don't have that kind of like I could I could you know go back into my clothes if I wanted to and you will never go back to the way you was you were okay you only get you only get better better results so don't have your old you near you okay remember you're in a new new and improved person so you have to have new and improved new and improved attire all right so Thanks for your question. I hope I uh, helped you out again. <laughs> and don't worry about that. Everything is excellent with your progress. Keep it up. Thanks for your question. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to Mr. Freaking News and Alex Diaz, then that's not sexy at all. Freaking huge. <laughs> Take care.